Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to show you how to install your leveling kit one inch from Rough Country. This, I just print some really lift one and a half inch lift kit because you have the drivers, you have the, the nut torque spec. The thing that you don't have on the Rough Country. They tell you what is the torque for every nut. So that's a good thing to know. Well, first of all, you have to open your hood. And you have to take off all the clips that are right there. You have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, six bolt. So let's do this. Well, you have to remove the retainer clips that are right there. Make sure you don't lose them. <clears throat> There's another one right there. All right, I have my six or eight clips. All right. After this, you have to remove this little bolt, and it's uh, I use a 10 millimeter. Be careful. It's yeah, it's easy to take off. I did it by hand. Wow! 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 Okay. After that there is a little bolt right here you have to remove this with a 10 millimeter socket All right, I have to remove this. Well, after this, you have to take off the tie rod with the 15 millimeter. After that, you need to remove the sway bar right here with the 18 millimeter. All right. this you need to remove this little pin this is the abs wire pin <clears throat> it's hard That's it. That's good. All right. After that, I need to slide out the ABS wire off bracket. So this is the bracket. I have to remove the brake line with 
21 millimeter. This is not a 21. A uh, 8 millimeter wrench to remove the brake line. This is the brake line right there. <clears throat> This is the brake line that you have to remove. Don't forget to put back the little bolt if you don't want to lose it. All right, after that. Brake line is off. 21, I need to take off this little two, two big bolts. It's a 21 millimeter socket. It's the nut from the knuckle. All right, if it's strong enough. let's see look they put right there a little mark to make sure it's lined up with the boat yeah I like it that's it this is the the upper one need to stay like that this is back take off the little bolt with the hammer so all right so This one is going to be the upper one. I'm going to put the nut, the nut right on the boat because I don't want to miss it and to lose it. I thought it was a harder job than that, but so far so good, guys. Yep, I have to remove this bolt with the 13 millimeter. Let's use the impact. <clears throat> yeah, I went turkey hunting this morning. So this is the rest of the turkeys. I'll have a video soon of my hunt. bolts I don't know how to take this off man that's fucking hard <clears throat> this is the bolt from the spring I think it's easier to do this when you're two people. My father is sleeping now, so he's coming soon to help me. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Well, that's the baby. And let's do this, guys. We have to grind it. I just want to show you my one inch leveling kit. Here is the Toyota Tacoma. This is my father's truck and this is my maverick so <clears throat> it's hard to see in video but it's pretty level i'm gonna i'm gonna take that tape i'm gonna show you the difference but i have to put it like on the flat surface well this is not flat it's on my parents driveway but let's see at the front thirty four yeah it's uh almost thirty four and on the back Thirty-four and a quarter. Well, it's it's almost flat out. Well, I have two thirty-five, forty-five, uh, two forty-five, sixty-five R seventeen, and I think it looks pretty good. It was written on the instruction that you will have to put. I think it's two sixty-five. Uh, no, two forty-five. 70 R17 and with some offset spacers but I want it to be economical on the, on the gas so let's see this yeah and I went driving with my truck and the ride is awesome I thought I would need an align uh, alignment, but when I drove it like this afternoon, pff, man, it was going straight, 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 straight. So I'm not sure if I would get an alignment, maybe just in case. And look at this, it's pretty flat. Tell me what you think in the comments. Yeah, these tires aren't so aren't that small for the for the the vehicle for the truck. I think it's like the perfect size for my truck. I really like my truck. Oh yeah, Ford Maverick one inch leveling kit DIY. Here is a quick update of fuel economy of the one inch leveling kit from rough country so you can see i drove 100 kilometers i i average 7.2 so let's see in mpg look at this 32.2 mpg so you know People said, oh, you know, it's going to be less fuel economy. But when you run the same tires, so I run the, like I told, 235-65 R17 you open country. So, you know, it's pretty, pretty good. I didn't see any difference in the driving, in the handling, and neither on the gas, gas mileage. So, all right. And it's not that hard to do it. So I hope you enjoyed the video.
forget to subscribe and like. See you next time. All right.